Remember as a kid waking up early on Saturdays without a care in the world, school was done for the week, and all you wanted to do was watch some Yu-Gi-Oh! Well in this series, both House of Champs and myself are bringing back one of our favorite childhood pastimes. Each episode will be picking new decks to bring to the table in a best 2 out of 3 for some good old wholesome Yu-Gi-Oh! fun. Saturday morning Yu-Gi-Oh! is back ladies and gentlemen, because this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Sealed Saturdays. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. I still cannot believe how that last episode turned out. That's what you get for listening to the comments, John. But in any case, we're back with another episode of Sealed Saturday. And speaking of listening to the comments, we actually did want to take some of your feedback into account here because some of you were stating that it's hard to grasp the concept of sometimes how bad it is these decks are that we're having to bring to these games because you don't get a full overview of the cards that are in the decks themselves. So I decided that moving forward, we're actually going to go over the decks a little bit before we actually show the deck we are bringing to the game. So today is the dark Emperor structure deck, and if you notice by the thumbnail, we're going to be doing a mirror match because there wasn't really another deck that lined up with this time. And for the next episode, you know, there was another thing I want to make sure that lined up appropriately. So we are going to be doing this as a mirror match. And honestly, when you look at this deck, there really is like no other structure deck that is in a league with this because this deck is just ridiculous. Starting off and introduced one of the best tribute summonable monsters in the game being Caius the Shadow Monarch. As much as I am a Ryza enthusiast, Caius is better in some ways, and so you have to definitely give this card some respect. We also got Dimensional Alchemist, which didn't see as much play as Caius, but it's still a very strong card nonetheless. Now, of course, you're going to have some garbage in these decks as well, but look down here, right? DD Warrior, Kaiku, Bazoo, Exiled Force, DD Warrior Lady, Scout Plane. I mean, the list just keeps going on and on. Survivor, Banisher of the Radiance, DD Assailant. I mean, it is just hit after hit with these decks. And the hits continue because DDR is in here. I'm not sure if this is this card's first printing, but it might be. I'd have to double check. MST, Nobleman of Crossout, a reinforcement of the army. Uh, there's other good stuff in here like enemy control or lightning vortex brain control and then down in the traps return from the different dimension torrential tribute bottomless sakuretsu karma cut there's no shortage of removal in the dark emperor structure deck that's for sure so introducing the deck we are bringing to today's episode which is what i decided to come up with now it's a bit of a weird mishmash here it's strange because we're doing a mirror match and so i think i'd be playing uh different card choices if i wasn't playing the mirror match so let's go ahead and explain so one of the things that is obviously the theme here is banishing and I think Return from the Different Dimension is definitely going to be the card that carries us here because the more cards we can get banished and the faster we get them banished, the quicker we can fire this off and probably just win the game immediately. What I'm scared of is though, is that most of our cards also banish John's cards and his do the same for me. So it's almost like counterintuitive to want to do that. And so it's perplexing to say the least. So starting off with, we have the three Caius himself. Honestly, I don't even know how good Caius is. Like the burn damage is definitely relevant, but banishing a card I think like that's kind of bad sometimes in this deck, but I mean, we'll see how it goes. It's still a 2400, so we have to respect it. We have a lot of removal though, so I'm not sure how good this is. DD Assailant, of course, one of our main beaters, and DD Survivor is especially hilarious because with this card, if any of the other cards that banish would banish Survivor, we get the Survivor back. So it's actually pretty likely that this may be the MVP. We have three DD Warrior as well, which does have to mandatory banish, but it's still pretty good in that instance. One DD Warrior Lady, sadly, it's limited, but we are allowed to play one and three dimensional alchemists. Now this card isn't that great because it has to be sent from your field to the great or has to be sent to the graveyard, excuse me, and to target a banished monster and add it to your hand. And obviously with all these other cards that are banishing, if John's opting to play macro cosmos or dimensional fissures in his deck, then dimensional alchemist isn't that great. But what this card does do very well is fuel our return from the different dimension as fast as possible. And so that's what I'm going for with this. It is 1800 as well. So it can actually hit over a reasonable amount of monsters in this set. That is it for the monsters though. It's only 16 because honestly our spells and traps are so good. I figure we have to go with that. So for the spells, brain control to DDR. What I like about DDR is it's the only card we really have access to that allows us to play more than one monster a turn. And so it does come at a discard, but at the same time, if we're able to bring back a Caius and assailant, a survivor, anything, this card's going to put in work. Triple enemy controller is going to be nice as well. Caius only has a thousand defense. So this is a nice easy out to that. We can also steal one 
one of John's monsters to get in for a lot of damage. Just a great card. I'm only running the two Lightning Vortex because I feel like we have a ton of removal and Lightning Vortex being a board wipe. If we're kind of like just one for one trading with stuff like Saku and Karma Cut, I don't feel like we need as many board wipes. MST Nobleman were both limited. Reinforcement of the army is semi-limited and searches like nearly our entire deck. And then the traps, triple bottomless, which again is counterintuitive when we don't really want to banish the stuff, but it's more about like fighting for the board more than anything else. Double Karma Cut. This is like the weakest of the removal spells, but I still think it's like okay because if we can push for game, it's pretty nice. Triple Return from the Different Dimension, probably the MVP of the set. Triple Sakuretsu Armor, of course. This is nice because it doesn't banish, but if one of us has macro or defi up, it doesn't matter. That's why I'm not playing it though, because ideally I don't want to actually see John's stuff get banished. And so I'd rather have it in the graveyard. And so I'm not playing those cards. I think he might play them anyway. And if he does, he can just play more blanks in his deck and then a torrential tribute to round out our main deck. The side deck is just comprised of cards that I might want to side into. So I have a couple Bazoo if we want to get some cards out of our graveyard into the banished pile. And Bazoo gets pretty big. Two DD Scout Plane if John plays the macro and the DeFi. We can just play these because it's going to be blanket for both of us. And we can keep getting this back. Triple Exiled Force. This is overkill. I'm not going to play three of this. Two Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. This card actually kind of sucks. The only good thing about it, it's 1800. But banishing monsters out of the opponent's graveyard is terrible in this set. And the fact that your opponent can't banish cards from either graveyard doesn't really come up for us because we're not playing like BLS or anything. So it's not really stopping anything either, but I figured I'd have it in the side as a beater. We have the third DDR, the third Lightning Vortex, the third Karma Cut, and I do have the triple macro in case there is some strategy to this card. But honestly, I actually kind of want to stray away from cards that banish, if I'm being honest, and try to keep John off of as many cards in the banish pile as possible. So now we have to go ahead and spin the wheel of random events to see what is going to happen to us in today's episode. Anything can happen. We've actually been having a pretty okay streak of wheel spin. So let's hope that we keep it that way. Okay, we found some cards at a yard sale, but it's only one core booster pack. What's good, CMOS channel, and welcome to the deck list. There were so many ways to go with this iconic deck for the mirror match. You had macro builds, you have all these one-for-one -one cards, so I narrowed it down to what I thought would be best, and I'm starting with three Kaius the Shadow Monarch, the icon. It's worth tribute summoning out if you can, even with all these grind cards. Its tempo stealing is just, oh, so nice, and then three Three Dimensional Alchemist. This is an extremely tricky card where you're not guaranteed your advantage to plus one with it, but being able to check DD Survivor in this format, I may be overthinking that, I think is very important. Also, three Exiled Force, he's at three in this format, and taking out certain monsters where you're guaranteed that they're not advantage later that's pretty darn nice. Three DD Warrior Lady and three DD Assailant. Again, I may be overthinking it, but DD Survivor is very much on my mind. That's why I didn't commit to DD Warrior as well. Three Kaiku at 1800, also taking care of the graveyard to an extent. That could come back to bite you, depending on the trap cards that are set face down. Three DD Survivor. He does have to leave the field itself to summon once again, but boy, if those opportunities are face up, you're going to take them and two Bazoo, which can attack over Caius should your graveyard be set up, and also fuel the trap right here under him, return from the different dimension. But let's go through the spells first. One Brain Control, because it's at one, very good with Caius. One MST, for what good it'll do versus all the back rows. Two Reinforcement of the Army, which is just so many different options from Spot Removal with Exiled Force, DD Warrior Lady or Assailant, and Survivor himself. We've got two Enemy Controller. I wanted to max two three, but I feel like the card that turns things to defense may not be as good as some of the options that are straight one for ones. Three Return. This is before the Emergency Ban List settles in a couple months later and I feel like with Return from the Different Dimension, there's a huge game-stealing aspect that it just offers that cannot be ignored in this duel. One Torrential Tribute, it's at one for a good reason. It's so powerful, but you want to hold it for the right moment in this duel. Three Bottomless Trap Hole, three Sakuretsu Armor, these one for one based on battle, based on summon removals. Again, DD Survivor dodges the bottom list. You've got to watch what you're doing. And three Karma Cut, which Survivor also ends up dodging. I may be overthinking this by a mile, but I think Survivor as well as Caius are huge swing points in this matchup. 
Then in the side deck, we have three DDRs, different dimension reincarnations, which for the minus, but also on board tempo to force answers, I feel like you're still not wanting that trade the most often. That's why it's not main deck. And DD Warrior is the weakest of all of the removal cards that are in his slot. He's often teched during certain formats, but never really takes his name into the metagame. Three Lightning Vortex. If I feel like there's an overwhelming need to mine to clear the board to force Simo to use his answers this might come in and I don't think the face down card should come into as much play with the one nobleman of cross out in the format so I am side decking that three grid Maju. I think it would be hilarious if Simo depending on the deck he's on would come into play and actually be worth it I don't think it will be but I just enjoy having this back here then one dark core I had more of them in. I was thinking of doing three in the side deck but I do think the third bazoo or the third enemy controller is more likely to be needed than three dark core when you already have the three karma cut let's go ahead and spin that wheel and see what's gonna happen to our list last time it was something bad i'm hoping it's something good this time it would be really nice to get a huge win like when simo got cyber dragon and i find cards at a yard sale let's go one pack we'll take it it's better than the dog eating cards from your deck right the iconic set that gave me my 2008 win. Now I'm asking instead of the six samurai draw card to see a dark arm dragon. So unlikely, but imagine Simo's face as well as my own if it happens and it didn't. I do have a 1900 beater with a search option for it. I'll go ahead and read these. Immortal Bushi is actually not terrible, but he needs to go to the graveyard. And Ohm TK was a deck in the format, but we're not pulling that one off either. Either, I don't think. So we do get to open one core pack, and the pack that was released before the Emperor Structure deck was actually Phantom Darkness. It's very fitting because it's a dark theme. Let's flip it up. I'm not sure we're going to get anything good. Looking at this, we're probably not going to play anything. So this is the deck we're sticking with. I'm pretty happy with it. Can't wait to see how it performs. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. John, this is the first ever mirror match we're having in Sealed Saturday, and this is going to be a very strange one because of the deck choice here. Although, alternatively, I think any other deck that would have been paired against us would have just gotten completely just blown the fuck out but i mean obviously you could uh beg to differ there <laughs> the amount of removal offered in this in a sealed structure format Insane. has very few rivals it's actually absurd the amount of ways we could go with this sealed as well we'll see what directions we've taken it i don't want to spoil it all but first right. i've got to uh destroy your dice and have you got new dice here for okay this episode? i'm using a new die for this uh, so right. moment of truth is now, this new die going to break? With that inside information, I'm changing up my pick last second. Okay, fine. Uh, I'm going to shout out the patron and hope that we can actually win one for once. The patron is Levin726. Thank you for the support. Ooh, okay, okay, I would have picked okay. Rock. I would have picked Rock. My last minute change did get me another life here. Hmm. I picked. No! Oh, we did it! The die worked! <laughs> ah... Okay, now am I going to win? I don't know. That's a different story. But at least we won rock, paper, scissors. So one victory at a time. One, one, victory at one time. extra card in this <laughs> format is actually huge. I think so, too. Just because of the amount of removals. Nuts. Okay. Uh, good luck, buddy. I will draw standby main. And boy, we've got some cards we can play. Uh, I will play into the one nobleman. And I will pass. I'll set one and pass the turn. Go ahead. All right, well, I'll go ahead and use that old-fashioned priority on one of your DD cards. Okay, there goes the DD Assailant. Thought that might be what it is, and I'll set one back right across from you, buddy. Right in the imperm column, you fool. Okay, I know. Uh, I will go to main phase one. I am going to run out Dimensional Alchemist. Ah, uh, let me think about this one, actually. Getting, uh, well, you don't have a banished monster yet. Yeah, I'll allow it. Okay, well, I will use the effect to banish the top card of my deck. That is fine. Let's see what we're going to hit, and it's a Vortex. All right, uh, let's go and hit for 18. 18 is fine. Second main, I will set a card, and we'll throw it over to you. So now you've got to start trying to protect him to a degree. I'll go ahead and activate Reinforcement of the Army. Sure. 
And he's back to 1300 already. Correct. So that I'll grab only BD Survivor and see Ooh. if you have Bottomless, Karma Cut. You could have the Saku. Hmm. I'll go ahead and summon. That's fine. Battle phase, attack. I will sack here. Ah, you have it. All right. Tempo to Simo for now. I was like, oh, please don't macro me. <laughs> please don't macro me. That would be the worst. Okay, I'll draw. Uh, we'll go to main one. I will fire the Dimensional Alchemist once more. All right. Uh, so we'll go here. Oh, There's a monster. Okay. Uh, then I guess I keep the pressure going. I'm going to run out DD Assailant. I will use Torrential Trip. Uh, I got greedy. I got greedy. Okay. Well, uh, it's this is one for one here. Correct. Because Alchemist does trigger here. I get to take a banished monster, in this case, the Survivor, and I get to add it to my hand. And uh, with that, I think I will just set an additional card and throw it to you. Yeah, you're winning big in the back row department here. The DB algorithm's not being super kind to me. Uh, I will summon Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Ooh. Uh, sure. That's fine. And we'll go to the battle phase and attack. I will take 18 here. And I will banish nothing to that hmm. then. Why would you want to do that, buddy? Uh, I wonder if returns <laughs> at three in this format. Guess we'll find out. Uh, main phase one. I think you and I have uh, correctly identified like what the strat is for this set. <laughs> Attack and remove. And not banish. Uh, that's also part of it. Uh, I will fire a Rota of my own. All righty. I will grab a DD Survivor. All right. I'm going to normal one of my DD Survivors. We're just going to crash here. Crash is fine. And second main, uh, I think I'm just going to throw it to you. All right. Well, for me, I'm going to summon Bazoo and use priority to banish three. Ooh, uh, sure, that's fine. All right, battle phase, go in for the attack. Hmm. Another sack of the, the algorithm. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. I'll take 25. All right, and in main phase two, I'll throw down a face down and end my turn. Okay, uh, wonder what that could be. <laughs> I'll go ahead and draw. We'll go to main phase one here. I'm going to go ahead and brain control your bazoo. Ooh, that hurts. Then I'm going to use his effect. I'm going to banish some guys. So yep. let's go ahead and get them all out. Thank you, buddy. Uh, so this bazoo is actually uh, gigantic now. He is 3,400, right? Yeah. Um... So 34, I'm going to normal summon DD Survivor. That is fine. I'm going to activate different dimension reincarnation. I'm going to pitch this knock and I'm going to target your, uh, my, eh, what do I want to get here? I guess I'll get, I'm going to get Survivor. All right. I am going to unfortunately have to bottomless that. And if you have return, you have game. Okay, uh, so this is going to go. Uh, it gets actually, this just gets yeah. rebanished. Yeah, it just gets rebanished. Okay. <sighs> Fortunately, I do not have the return. Woo! I wish. Uh, so we're gonna go for eighteen. All right, and we're a gonna go for massive thirty-four. Uh, but the problem is, you're gonna get this bazoo back, and that's a problem. So second main. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he still would be twenty-five. You don't have any other monsters, thankfully. So that's. Good. Um, I think I'm just going to pass and give you your bazoo back. So there you go, buddy. All righty. Well, oh, your survivor. Oh, uh, my survivor returns. Yes, thank you. Uh, I will normal summon and use priority. Sure. Let's see what you hit. Banish the top. Nice. Assailant. It's a monster. So we have 25 and 18 here. Battle phase, uh, I will attack with this first to see what I'm dealing with. 25 and 18. I'm going to Karma Cut Bazoo. Ooh, that actually hurts a ton. I will attack and crash. Sure, so we both die. And I will get Exiled Force, and unfortunately, I have no face downs to play. Ooh, then can we wrap it up? Tempo takes it, <sighs> yep. Wow, wow, this is crazy. <laughs> 
Man, seeing the back row is such a huge difference. I was just full of monsters, and you actually had the answers that game. I want to see if I can get yeah. a good mix this time, which is why I'm on 42. Okay, let's see how it works for All you, right. buddy. Good luck. I will... Hmm, this one's actually tough to start with. I will go ahead and set two, as well mm -hmm. as one more, and pass to you. Okay, we're going to draw. Uh, let's go to main one. Fairly certain you don't have anything there. Uh, let's start with a normal summon of Dimensional Alchemist. That is fine. And with Pryo, I will use the effect. Let's go ahead and mill. Uh, I didn't want to see that. Um, I don't really know if I want to use this card. I guess we'll try it. Let's knock wow! your set. Wow! The outplay here. And then here. go to battle for 18. The one of knock kept it in. Did keep it in. I kind of regretted it, but then when you set, I'm like, okay, maybe this isn't terrible. Uh, I'm going to set two and pass the turn. All right. Well, I will draw, and I will one for one your guy with priority. Mm, that's fine. Yep, Alchemist down. And we'll set another back row and pass. <laughs> uh, you got back row this time. You said that's what it, you wanted. It is indeed <laughs> what I was asking for, Dueling Book. I'll pass after All setting right. one as well. Well, luckily, I already have a banished monster, but I will use priority here as well. Sure. All right, and it is a bottomless. Right. We'll go in for a swing. I think I'll take the 18. That's fine. And I'll pass to you. Okay. Uh... <laughs> uh oh <laughs> <Go> <laughs> Seeing a little too many, uh, I will activate effect once again. Torrential's not Ooh, what you want happy to see. see that gone. Right. Okay. And we'll swing for 18 again. I guess I'll take another 18. I'm not happy about it. But... And in the main two, I will throw down another face down and pass. Isn't it nice to not have to worry about Heavy Storm? Oh, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and bring my Dimensional Alchemist to the that field. That is fair play. <laughs> Pryo, use the effect. Ooh. That's a pretty that's, big one. That's a big one. Uh, we'll see how good it is. Uh, I'm going to try to hit here. Hmm, so that would give me an assailant. What an interesting predicament. You've got three back row and you've had trouble dealing with this. I will go ahead and sack you that. Okay, sure. So Alchemist down. Uh, I'll use the effect at the Kai's to my hand. And uh, I think that's probably going to do it for me, so I'll pass the turn. All right. I will draw, and I will use the ability of Alchemist again. Trap, trap, Ooh, trap. Ooh, ah, not bad. Gross. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. How greedy do Someone's checking that banish pile there. Hmm. I know, right? Wonder why. How greedy do I want to be, Simo? Well, they say greed is good, John. I'm going to normal summon Exiled Force. Oh, this, okay, this is very greedy. Very. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We'll go to battle phase and attack. This is a thousand? Yep. Sure. And we will attack. 18 is fine. And we will pay half of our life points here. Here we go. To yep. special summon as many banished monsters as possible, which are two. It is your Kaiku and your Assailant. Yep. And we will go for game. Um, Thinking how I want to do this. Ah, uh, so there's mm. some enemy controllers face down, mayhaps. There's something face down. There's something face down. Uh, I'm going to Karma Cut the Assailant. Mm. And you had to get rid of that Caius. Wow. And then uh, you're going to attack with Kaiku too, yep. I imagine. I will econ the Kaiku. And I will pay half my life points once again. Here we go again. Yep. Uh, you got it, buddy. Woo! Greed is good. <sighs> Greed is good. Double return. Could not. I had double vortex in hand. I'm like, can I just live? Double return. Double return. Greed is good indeed. Uh, I, they say two is better than one. They do. And uh, hopefully that's the case when I win this game three. So I'm going to go first. Oh, when you take it down. All right. Someone's confident in their ratios. Uh, I'm pretty confident. And looking at this hand, it's not too bad, actually. Okay. I'm going to go to main one. I'm going to bring out the boy, the MVP, yep. I feel, that we were already discussing. So let's go ahead and alchemist it up. Let's see what we're hitting. Not bad. There's Kaiku. Not bad. Uh, I'm going to set two and pass it to you. All right. So you have back row set up with an alchemist plus one. 
That is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and normal summon DD Assailant and see if you've got anything on summon. Mm, I think that's fine. And we'll go to battle phase and attack. Mm, so I lose out on Alchemist. It breaks even because I get the Kaiku back. Or you can spin the back row. I could. I mean, Alchemist just keeps getting, you know, virtual advantage the longer it stays around, which is kind of nice. Mm, I don't really feel like losing tempo, honestly. I'm going to econ your assailant. Hmm. Interesting. All right, then. That screams DD Survivor. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Uh, I will set three cards Jeez. then and pass back to you. Okay. We'll go ahead and draw. Either Survivor or huge return that you're trying to set up. I'm going to Rota. Rota's fine. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, Simo. I'm going to grab Exiled Force. Mmm. Interesting. We'll normal it with Priya. We'll take out the Assailant. Really? Did you take Survivors out here? Now I'm going to Alchemist. Uh, actually, actually, let me think. Oh, do you have a response? Yeah, I'm thinking, actually. Uh, to Exiled Forces Summon, even though it uses priority, I think I'm going to Torrential you here so you don't continue to get to use the Alchemist Ooh. and have to use its effect here. Poor sequencing on my part, it would seem, then. Uh, sure, that's fine. So then I'll trigger well, the- Well, the Tribute still goes off of field as uh, the first. It's actually the correct sequencing. So then I'll get the Kaiku back uh, off the Alchemist's effect. Uh, that ate my normal summon, but I got a Torrential out of you, so it's not the worst. I will set a back row and throw it to you. All right. Well, I will go ahead and activate my own Rota here. Sure. And we will grab DD Survivor. There he is. And we will normal summon him. Sure. Now the question is, do you have Sakuretsu Arm? I'll take 18. Nice. And we will pass to you. Okay. Uh, we'll draw. Go to main one. Uh, I feel like running out Kaiku. Kaiku's fine. Let's try to hit. How do I want to deal with this? I will use Econ to swing him to defense. Ooh. Uh, sure. That's fine. So he goes to defense. Second main, I'm going to set a back row and throw it to you. Another, another, another back row. Well, let's see if you've got my play. I'm going to... Hmm. Well, do I even? I'll just go to battle phase and attack and see what you got. Hmm. Just move straight to battle. I think I'll fire my econ. It's only fair. You did the same to me. <laughs> All right. In main phase two, I will normal summon and use priority, Ooh. which I thought about doing in main phase one, but I at least want to debate a back row. Sure. And I will pass to you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to MST your back row. Ooh. Bottomless. Okay. Uh, wouldn't have really mattered all that much anyway. Um. Okay. I'm gonna run out my survivor and I'm gonna hit yours. All right. And I'm going to pass on that. All right. I will go ahead and summon Bazoo and use priority Ooh. to banish three. Sure, it's fine. And we'll go to battle phase and swing for 25. He's big. Maybe the algorithm another econ, third one. He's big, he's very big. God, um, I'm going to karma cut here. Wow. Uh, thinking on cost, yikes. Mm, I think I'm gonna get rid of brain control. What a card to give up there. Yeah. Uh, I think I have to allow it, yeah. Uh, Possibly have dang. Econ in hand? Is that what you were thinking? Could be, could be. I will go ahead and set one and pass. All right, we'll draw. That's not bad, actually. We'll Rota. Rota's good. Let's grab ourselves a uh, DD survivor. <laughs> He's surviving. Uh, your torrential's gone too, so I don't fear that. Uh, right. I'll run out another survivor. Yep. Try to hit for 18. I will take 18. How about another 18? I will stop the 18. Okay, was econ. Ha ha. All right, uh, go ahead. Well, I have a very huge card for this occasion. Okay. A little oh, two for one. Oh, two action. for one exiled. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yep, and in main phase two, he will tribute himself. 
Pop the other I'll one. I'll throw down a face down to you. Shit, you have a face down. That's very scary. <laughs> okay, main phase one. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, Alchemist. Yep. Cryo. MVP. Ah, I don't want to see that. 18. Go ahead. That was like the worst thing it could have hit. Well, how about I throw out my no, alchemist? No, your alchemist will kill mine. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, and, and you, you hit got another monster. To get back with yours. Shit, well, I do I've not. What a swing. Quite a few options. Yeah, that's here. fine. That's fine. We'll draw. Um, yikes. You've lost your natural advantage here. I have. You don't have return because you would have won the game immediately. Uh, that last turn, if you flipped Detective it. Detective Simo. Well, that's good. I mean, at least I'm alive, but I don't, for all the good that's gonna fucking do. Um, well, uh, it's not looking good, folks. It's not looking good. I'm gonna set and pass. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, yeah. you, you do not love to see it. All right, I will activate the effect. Sure. Whiff. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Another one. And we will attack. Okay, what it is got? my assailant. Which will banish. banish. Yes, so you don't get your advantage. That's what I was hoping for. And I will set another oh, face no. down and end my turn. Oh, no. I'll draw. Crap. That's not good. <laughs> That's bad. Okay. If it's return, I'm dead. So it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to go for this. I'm going to DDR. Uh, and I've got MST. Fuck! I knew that was the punish. You just drew it, too. All right. <laughs> fine, 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 fine. All right. Oh, you have two survivors gone. I've got to commit to some damage here. Let's just go for oh, it. Oh, if I drop, if I drop the third survivor, you're gonna be crying. I will lose it. Shit. <laughs> go. Oh. You love. There's the time. Fifteen hundred's not a lot. Well, you do have one banished monster now. Uh, I'll just go in for fifteen again. I'll take it. That's fine. That's a two-turn clock left. Yep. Draw. Uh, um, I mean, that's something. I'll set and pass. Go ahead. <laughs> it protects me All from right. death. Well, me and the boys are going to target one monster on the Shit. field with priority and uh, pop your face. Yeah, down. I'll take the 15. <laughs> and you've got one last turn to turn it around. There's a card that does it. Uh, That kind of does it? Not really? Hmm. Normal bazoo? Pryo? Uh, that is fine. Okay, uh, we're gonna get rid of... Survivor... Survivor... Uh... Do you have return? Assailant. Ah, oh, I can't attack here. Go. Really? Well... Uh, I will go ahead and summon my own assailant. Though. Okay, I'm going to bottomless your assailant. All right, I do have game by pitching the bazoo Shit. on the bazoo. Okay, I mean, if I attacked and you karma cut, I was dead anyway. So I figured, yeah. like, I didn't want to lose to Saku of all things, but... Well, I actually don't think I karma cut there just in case it's return because I'm at 44. Right. So... Uh, if you actually do return, well, I'm dead either way to return, I suppose. So I'm, I'm scenario. glad that, uh, I'm glad that both of us identified that you don't play like any cards that do anything banishing related for the opponent. Yeah, the, the macro and the D fissures were super tempting. Yep. But I'll go ahead and do the final blow here. Go ahead. With DD Warrior later. I'll give you the satisfaction. But Ah, oh, feels so good. <laughs> but the I, I feel like the the minus ones are so hard to choose in this format. I actually was not on DDR at all, and my call to set the MST instead of load the Karma Cut luckily won the game because you were on it. But I also had to be super careful about return. Yeah, my so I I just. I, it was so tough to, with the, the choices and like what to go for. My theory with DDR is that it's the only card we have access to that actually gives us another summon in a turn. And so like- in Yeah, so it presses the monsters but if, and forces the back row to a degree quicker, but it costs two for the minus ones. And because Exiled is also a card as it came in with enemy controller that game, 
Uh, it, it feels like, to me, Exiled being the one for one to take things back would be fine-ish to rely on the macro. Yeah, I think if we're doing, like, order of MVPs here, I think Dimensional Alchemist by far, because basically, like, if that goes unchecked, you're just fueling your return, which is ultimately the win condition, which I'm ha I'm glad be one of us got to pull it off, at least. Coming uh, in, I thought it was Survivor. I thought Survivor was the mind game card, but no, it's Alchemist. Survivor was still very strong in a lot of instances, just because it deals with so much, because it's like, there's so many cards we still have to play and so survivor just checks most of them right and then third honest i think exile force pulled in a lot of weight here because just being able to like with econ especially it's usually able to hit over most things kaiku 700 survivors 200 uh alchemist i think is even tiny enough for to uh yeah 200 bazoo. bazoo as well so like when you go exiled plus econ like that's just such a nasty two for one that you well i mean i guess you're using econ so it's like a two for two but in any case like just being able to turn the tempo back around like that is so big i think that was like one of like the low-key mvps for sure funny enough where, where was kaius kaius it's like the only highest we saw was the one i banished off my alchemist and funny enough like in retrospect i don't even know how good the only good like value kai kaius i feel like gets is like if you go after back row specifically right because it's like but you, you you have to i think actually you have to go for a monster and get the back row just because of bottomless i mean yeah, and it would have to be off an already plus like formation like dd survivor and at that point, do you want to lose the survivor that way? It's it's such a tough call, right? Because it's like everything that Caius is banishing, it's like it gives them more fuel for return. But it's like at that point, it's like, do you just care? It's like if they have it, they have it. I don't know. That's a tough one. Yeah, Caius is actually kind of rough. Uh, at the beginning of deck building, I was thinking, do I cut him? And then I was like, there's no way. There's no way. But it was in the back of my <laughs> mind the whole time all deck. Yeah, building. I agree. This is one of the few cover cards that like I felt like, okay, we have to play this. This is it's Caius. Like Caius is insane. And it didn't show the up to the party. And, uh, you know, I mean, that's fine. I think we have to show off like every other aspect of this deck, which is cool. But, uh, it was super fun. Yeah, this was fun. There was actually a lot of depth to this, and I'm glad that we both figured out the, the macro DeFi thing because I think it made it very interesting because of that. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode of Sealed Saturday. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons as always. So, big shouts to Shout1317, Moto, Cameron Smith, Chaotic Meatball, Team 00 x 3 Ian Musaka, Iron Fang, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Man, Hoban, Synchro Guy, Ole, Yusuf, Fast 05, Sylvia Wilds, Cole, TJ, Iconic, Rockslide, Dolly, Up, Logan, Thomas, Peter, Gregory, Thomas, Austin, Jordan, Coons, Kelvin, Iron Blazing, Pure Ace, Jesse, Wood, Trunor, Gaza, Brother Paul, Chris Ode, MBT, Play, Medulce, Nayru, Celeste, David, Lou, Chakot, Skyrose, Dylan Hunter, John, Two Base, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody, Eastwood, Day, Sir, Carlos, DT, Flannel, Daddy, Ashlyn Jensen, Give Me Speed Order, Give Me Death, Guys, Please Read Your Cards, CC Gaming, Thanks for the Sleeves, Dad, Matthew Brady, Ash Blossom, Toast, Sniff, for Max. Tom Russell, Ben Snatch for Prague 2021. Chipotle Rice, Wayan, Omar, all I want for Christmas are MBT's toes. There's a fucking new one. <laughs> Super Dark Edge and Kanye's famous album, MBT DTF. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. <laughs>